Hi, welcome to Balfour Mar. Today I'm going to give you some insights into some interesting legal implications that you're most likely to have in your business but haven't really understood what could it mean to you. What I'm talking about is what seems to be your harmless photocopier, which is also nowadays a printer and a scanner, and understanding you actually might have a legal time bomb in there if you don't know how you're actually operating and using it, and particularly when you're finished with it. Now why are you saying as a lawyer talking about these things and what's it got to do with um, privacy and intellectual property? Well, one of the things about technology nowadays is your photocopier is actually a very powerful piece of computer equipment. It actually has a hard disk drive in it. So that's one of those storage devices you find in your personal computers. And each time you run through that photocopy or that scan document, well, guess what? It takes an image of that and it stores it there as a backup. So, yep, that seems all fine, and you're printing out your documents, and you're storing them, and you're maybe using your scanning and emailing on. It's all in your business. The printer's still in your business. But guess what? Quite often, you've actually only leased that piece of equipment. So, at the end of your lease, what do you do? You return it. Now, I hope you're beginning to understand the implications of what I'm talking about. In that is containing very personal and, and very private and quite often confidential, and particularly if you're a lawyer, for example, it could have even privileged legal documents in there. Now, say you're an accountant that's got tax file numbers and things like that, or a financial planner and you've got financial plans or things like wills, financial statements, and so on. This can contain very, very private and personal information to do with your business, your clients, and other parties. Now, guess what? When you've returned that photocopy or printer scanner, and we'll just call it a printer, well, guess what? that hard disk is now left your premises. Have you told your clients that you've allowed a third party to now hold a hard drive full of all your images and data? What happens if they sell it to someone? What happens if someone wants to take that hard disk and download all that information? Could they use it? Worse yet, you might inadvertently be in breach of the Privacy Act. Now, of course, you go, oh, a lawyer's saying, well, this is a problem and you could get a fine and so forth, which you could, but worse yet, you could be damaging your clients your business, and of course your reputation. So for a very simple task of simply asking at the end of the hire purchase or leasing arrangement you had for your printer, that you ask for the hard disk and that you keep it and probably destroy it. Guess what? They probably only cost 40 or $50 nowadays with modern technology. And yep, there's some therapeutic benefit in it. You can even get a hammer out and smash it into little pieces. Throw it in the bin and you know then all that private secured data has been properly destroyed. That way you've actually met your privacy policies, you've looked after your business's interests and also been mindful of your client's interests. That's an important safety tip and an important privacy thing to consider in all businesses. If you need any more information or particular advice on how to implement that, in addition to appropriate contemporary privacy policy, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.